This is Dubrovnik in Croatia. It's a city which is sometimes called the Pearl of the Adriatic, especially on a day like this. The old town is at the heart of the city. It still has its walls, almost two kilometers long, complete with towers and a moat. People are able to walk all along the walls. Around a million tourists do so every year. It takes one and a half to two hours to go all the way around, depending how much you stop. Minseta Tower is the highest point. The steps are pretty steep, but you can expect fabulous views. The walls of Dubrovnik were built over a period of about 500 years, a considerable investment for which is just really just a city-state. But the walls, in fact, weren't the primary means of defence of the city. The primary defence was diplomacy. The whole point was not to get into wars. Uh, so they did lots of diplomacy, lots of trade, didn't form alliances with anybody they didn't need to. And then the idea of the walls was that if they were attacked, it just made the city seem like too tough enough to crack. I mean, why attack Dubrovnik when, hey, <laughs> They're friendly, they trade, what's there to be gained? It's a good idea to wear a hat and bring some water because there's not much shade on the wall and only one place for coffee. When the walls were first built, they enclosed what is now called the Old Town. Today, while the modern population of Dubrovnik is around 43,000, only about 1,500 people permanently live inside the old walls. You're much more likely to meet a tourist than a local. But the old streets are still very interesting to explore. It's pretty hard to get lost. In the days before tourism, Dubrovnik's prosperity came from its port. The city-state was a major hub for maritime trade. Up and down the Adriatic and across the Mediterranean. Dubrovnik even developed a distinctive type of trading ship called the Karaka. If this replica vessel somehow seems familiar, it could be because it and Dubrovnik featured in a certain TV series. It's pretty hard to imagine what Dubrovnik must have been like before they made Game of Thrones, but we come here today and like there's one tour after another of uh, guides explaining to people all the different places where various scenes were shot. Uh, must have done wonders for the tourist economy of Dubrovnik. I mean, Dubrovnik was, was already a World Heritage listed way before then, but uh, uh, the modern world. My visit was in early May and the weather was classic Adriatic blue. Not too hot and not too crowded. Dubrovnik is a fabulous place to explore.